this video's rated so goddamn nasty we couldn't rate it, goddamn it. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Wack4863 and what the hell am I playing? I'm playing a bit of Splatterhouse. Now, uh, why am I playing this game? Because it's got to be one of the most gnarly games I've ever played. Um, and I'm going to play it on easy because it's super hard game guys um but yeah so this game is just fucking nasty um and i'm gonna let you guys watch this and listen make a wish okay i want us to be together until the end of the world Jenny, I'm sorry. He took your girl, Rick. He took your dreams. And he took your life. Dr. Henry West, MD. He took it all. Only thing you got left is your soul. And that belongs to me. Who am I? Let's just say I'm God. You're God. At least the only God that's listening right now. What do I want? Uh, same as any God. Little faith. For without faith, I am nothing. And without me, you're fucked. She doesn't have to die. I can help you. I can heal your wounds. We can save her. If you show me some faith, if you trust me, if you put me All right, guys, so, uh... Explains a little bit of the story there, but, uh, yeah, this game is fucking gnarly awesome. Uh, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it, and that's why I'm playing it. And I've played through part of it, I haven't beat the game, but, uh, hopefully... Oh, quick whining! Did I say it was gonna be fun? You're gonna have to learn to love the pain. There's a lot more of it to come. What have you done to me? What am I? What am I? You're mine, Rick. Jen. All right, so Until hopefully Jen's you guys will see the your entire arms. game. I'm going to start a little You're let's mine. play on this and go from there. Phase one, Satan's Mask. What's happened to me? To us. You're wearing me, I'm inhabiting you. We're a team now. You help me get what I want, and I help you get your girl back. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, buddy. Let's go kill something. It's been too long, and I'm way out of practice. So, uh, it's gonna have a disclaimer at the beginning saying that this game is uh, mature, but as you guys can see, it's a super mature game. Um, a lot of violence, a lot of blood, a lot of cussing. Um, there's also some sexual themes, and I believe there's a little bit of nudity here and there, but I'm probably going to have to edit that out uh, for YouTube. So, um, yeah, just be prepared for uh, pretty much anything to uh, to come on the screen. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a gnarly game. It's an 18-plus game, um, and even at that point, it's definitely a game that uh, kind of has an acquired taste to it. Um, so just be, be totally prepared and know what uh, 
what you're getting into if you guys are going to watch this Let's Play. Um, it does not let up, guys. So, uh, basically, a role-playing game. What are you? I, I don't know anything about you. <laughs> you set me free. I owe you. That's all you need to know. You kind of continually somehow talk to uh, to this guy. Care. It's like a it's like having <laughs> split personalities and um, it's kind of gnarly, kind of fun stuff. So here's where we get into the uh, tutorial on how to actually play. And you can see that uh, you can see I have no like superpowers at this point. Other than being big, a badass, and being able to rejuvenate yourself, um, that's about it. So definitely a button masher. Um, I wouldn't say that it takes uh, a whole hell of a lot of skill necessarily, um, but it is a hard game. I mean, they, they continue to throw stuff at you and um, don't really offer you a whole hell of a lot of life. And the more the more blood and whatnot that you splatter on the screen, the better off. From the journal of Dr. Henry West. Despite my attempts to unlock its secret. We didn't want to listen to him anyway. I know there's Yeah, there we go. So these these pictures all over the place are parts of these pictures. And uh, as you pick them up, you piece them together, and it's another part of the story. She must have left it for me to find. Rick, you lucky dog. She's a good looking girl. Always one step behind in this game. Jennifer! All sorts of stuff is uh, is destroyable. Um, there's also uh, you get to a point in the game where uh, <laughs> where like limbs will get uh, will get torn off, and you'll end up like picking your your own limbs up uh, and beating people with them. Crazy stuff like that. Pass blocked. Find another. So here there's a weapon in here that you can pick up um, and I will eventually I will pick that up. There we go. It's 
The idea is that you gotta. This thing, huh? You gotta beat all this stuff down. Um. To a point where, uh. God, get off of me. And there's some new health. That's a R1 and, uh. Circle gets you more health. Uh, but it takes some of the kind of magic power away. Uh, come on. Okay, so when that opens, there's a small window where you can actually run through it, and then fire comes back on. So I'm just going to run away from those guys. Especially since I actually... And here's the thing, is I'm playing on freaking easy, and I almost died there. I'm something of a connoisseur, you know? There we go. Feeling good. Alright guys, I'm going to cut it off right here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my Let's Play of Splatterhouse. More to come, and uh, let me know what you think of the game so far, whether you want me to continue playing it. Give it a like and a comment, and I'm out. Peace. If you ain't following Whack4863 on Twitter, then you're a loser. And remember, kids, guns don't kill people. Crazy Steve does, goddammit.